Hey guys, this is Chris here. So I wanted to do a real quick video for you, uh, an update on the button coils. And as you can see, it's raining out here, or if you can hear it, it's, it's hitting the, the garage roof here that's covering my truck. And you can see some of the birds are sitting out there enjoying the water. I just wanted to show you uh, how great of a mom this button coil is. And if I come over here, I don't want to get wet and I don't want the phone to get wet, but we zoom in there. You can see, still see her sitting there on her, on her eggs. Um, and earlier, it was hailing some pretty large chunks. And I saw a few of those big pieces of hail land right on her back, and she didn't even budge. Um, so it just shows you, you know, the myth of button quail are not great parents or they're not great sitters. You know, I, I hope that this is a video that, that will prove otherwise for some button quail i'm not saying that every single button quail is a great mother you know some have great motherly qualities and some maybe don't um and and that could be because of their surroundings their situation you know other birds that are in there with them that that could to, to, that could you know create an environment where they're a better parent or not but i just wanted to show you real quick you know she's just doing really good um, today is Friday, so today is the 16th day that she has been sitting on these eggs. As you can see, she's still sitting on them. There's no chicks. Um, typically from 16 days to 21 days is when these chicks should be hatching. So I've been coming out multiple times a day, just peeking out here in the aviary, making sure nothing, there's no chicks running around. My biggest concern right now with these chicks is I have other button quail in the aviary. And the one mother, she's sitting on the eggs. You can see down here, that's the one I did, just did a video on and I built that nest for her. She's doing great. Uh, and then back here in the corner is the other hen and she seems to have abandoned her nest. She, she, she'll sit every once in a while, but then she's off for several hours at a time. And so I'm not, I don't have much hopes for her. I was gonna give it another day or two. Hope it's starting to rain a little bit harder now. I was going to give her another day or two to to see if she'd go back to the nest. If not, I'm I'm going to uh I'm I'm going to just pull the pull the eggs. And I think what I'm going to do with her cuz she seems to be a really light sitter. I think I'm going to get an empty uh potting plant, just those little plastic ones. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to put it over there in that same corner so she kind of has a little dome shape that she could go in and lay her nest in or her eggs in. And maybe she'd feel a little bit more secure and I could encourage her to sit tighter, you know? So, you know, this, this mom, she sits really tight. And, and actually this other gray hen that just started sitting, you can see her down there in that little gray tote. I mean, she's getting soaked right now. She's just sitting really good, you know? So they seem to be doing all right. And so hopefully I'll be able to encourage, but back to the point, my biggest fear is when these chicks hatch, that these other button quail are gonna attack the chicks. So I don't want to disturb the nest before the eggs hatch because I don't want the mom to abandon. But I'm also coming out here several times a day to make sure I'm not missing the chicks hatching. One, so I can get it on video for you guys. And two, I don't want these other hens or the male to start attacking these chicks and kill them. Um, it could go both ways. They can accept them and they're fine. She is the dominant hen, so I'm hoping that will help and they'll be afraid to attack her chicks, the others. Um, that's, that's, that's the best scenario right now. Um, but if, if they start attacking the chicks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little divider up here so I can keep her separate. I'll let the chicks hatch out all the way. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is all, all my males that are over here on this other side, it just stopped raining. So you could probably hear me better. Sorry about that rain. I just wanted to show you how good of a parent she is sitting on those eggs during the rain. But anyways, uh, I'll get I'll I'll take my males that are in this far cage. I'm gonna pull all four of them out and I'm gonna I have a little room inside of my my shed. I'll put them in there and then I'll take her and her babies and I'll just let her raise the babies in that other flight all by themselves. And you know that that other flight's pretty much identical this to this in this this one right here and so they should do fine. Um so I, I my biggest concern is just catching these chicks before the other button quails get to them. And so hopefully they won't attack the chicks and I can just let her raise the chicks in here with them, kind of do a communal, a communal flight with the buttons. That's my goal, but it may not work out that way. So like I said, today's day 16. 
they could hatch today all the way until really day 24 is when they say but if the if the hen's sitting on it and she's been a really good sitter i i would think within the next day or two these eggs should be hatching um i have had one time a hen sat and her and she sat pretty tight i felt um and her chicks didn't hatch until like day 24 and i wasn't ready i thought the eggs were dead you know i, I didn't think any of them were gonna hatch and so I just stopped checking on her and I, I let her sit on the eggs and the eggs hatched while I was away at work. Came home and all the chicks were dead because the other button quill had killed them and so I was really, really bummed. She had like eight of them hatch out of the 12 eggs. Super big bummer, but so that's why I'm, I'm kind of paranoid. I, I want to make sure I catch these, you know, before the other button quill do and make sure that they have a great chance of survival but i kind of have to wait for them to hatch i don't want to push the mom off the nest i don't want to relocate the nest you could say relocate the other hens uh which i might relocate the male and the brown hen that just stopped sitting um, but i don't want to disturb this hen that just started sitting as well so you know it's kind of a catch-22 we'll just kind of play it by ear as, as it as it goes out so but just wanted to give you an update you know we'll get another pic picture on her I don't know if we I wish I didn't have the bars but you can see on her back she has droplets of water so that's a good mom she's just sitting there letting that water get on her and she's not moving you know she only laid six seven eggs she's sitting on seven eggs which typically for button quail they usually will sit on like 12 to 13 eggs per clutch but this is her very first clutch so uh, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens, you know, so But she seems to be a really good mother She'll jump right back on those eggs after I get done feeding them in the mornings and she does just fine Same with this other gray hen. It's just my brown hen that she's uh, her and the male are underneath these rocks hiding from the rain um, You know, she just she seems to not be super interested You can you can't really see her nest right there. It's too far in and I don't want to go inside and, and disturb them so but so just a quick update for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it gave you a few tips, you know, maybe showed you some contrast and whatnot. Here's the brown hen. She's walking right here. Um, you know, she's pretty curious. She's gone and sat on her nest a couple times right here when she was off feeding. And man, that mom came back and about kicked her butt. She pushed her out of that nest and chased her around the flight pen. Like she was saying, don't you touch my eggs. So it was pretty interesting, but so. I will tomorrow morning. I'm going to I'm going to go and look at these eggs, get a cl up up close look and see if any of the eggs have pipped. If, you know, that have a little tiny crack in them. That's a sign that there's a chick in there. It's getting ready to hatch out. And many times the eggs will pip, you know, 1 to 2 days before they hatch out. So if I see any eggs that are pipped, you know, that's a good sign that they're getting close to hatching out. Some eggs haven't pipped at all and they just hatch that day. Um but most of them will usually pip first, crack the egg a little bit, and then they'll they'll do it. So so if I see the eggs and they have any pips, I'll do a video on that and try and get an up close look for you guys, let you guys see it. So if you got any other questions, comments concerning the button quails, their care, breeding them, anything like that, please let me know. Leave a comment below, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.